In the third aliyah of Parashat Barim, we have the story of the Meraglim. Moshe Rabbeinu recounts the story of the spies going to Eretz Israel, coming back with negative reports. So if you ask ourselves, sending Meraglim, sending spies, not sending spies, is it good, is it bad? And most people would think it's bad. But the truth is, if you take a look, later on in the history of Chumash, Moshe Rabbeinu himself sends spies again for a second time to spy the city of Yazir. Yeshua, of course, sent spies to spy the land of Eretz Yisrael after 40 years to the city of Yericho. So it must be good. It can't be that they're making the same mistake again. So what was the big mistake about sending the spies to scout the land? And to me, it seems the main difference is if versus how. Moshe Rabbeinu sent the Meraglim to see how they should conquer the land of Israel. Not if it's a good land. It was supposed to be given that this is a good land. This is Eres Israel, Eres Atova. And we're supposed to see, scout the land and figure out how is the best way to, to conquer it. And that was the mistake. In our lives, we have the same thing. The ifs versus the hows of our life. A person has to have clear perspective on life of what exactly it is that I want to do. What is given? After all, this is exactly the, the, the secret of Naseh Nishma. We're committed. We know this is good. How are we going to do it? We'll figure out. That's the how. But it's not a question of if. Naseh Nishma is full commitment to our principles. And the same really is for every element in a person's life. We say, en kelokenu, en kadonenu, en and then afterwards we say, mi kelokenu. First you have to establish, en these are my principles in life. These are my goals. You have to have a clarity on those, and only then a person could figure out how to go about them. To research how to go about it, to scout the land to see what's the best way to go about the conquest of Eretz Yisrael is an amazing idea. We did it and we do it again. But we have to go in with having principles, with knowing what exactly it is that we want from our lives. What are the long-term goals? What are the no-nos in our list? And what are the things that we really want to be remembered with when we co go through our 60s and 70s and 80s and we look back not to have regrets? We want to achieve those things and we go through finding out, out exactly how. Amen. Have a wonderful day.